Switzerland, a country known the world over for the craftsmanship and quality of its many consumer goods and products. And the most universal symbol of that quality and versatility is the Swiss Army knife, a clever knife found in the pocket of millions of users in every continent. Well, in today's programme, we take you to Ibach in the canton of Schwitz for a look inside the home of the original Swiss Army knife. The Victorinox company has been making knives here for more than a hundred years. Behind its impeccable reputation today is a tradition of family history and dedication. Today, Victorinox is the largest cutlery factory in Europe. 1,000 employees are involved in the production of 34,000 Swiss Army knives at this factory every day. Daily production also includes thousands of pocket tools in 400 different models. And an additional 38,000 kitchen and professional knives, which are exported to more than 100 countries. What is it that makes Victorinox knives so popular, so irresistible, a perfect souvenir of Switzerland? Have you already bought it or are you going to buy? Um, we're going to buy. Why are you going to buy the Swiss Army knife? Because it's Swiss. They're known for their Army knives. Mm -hmm. um, just because I like the razor sharp blade, um, how they're real sharp, and I think they're pretty cool looking. They're sleek. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I got one right here. Oh, great. <laughs> Isn't this a beautiful one? The nicest watch is nicest Victoria Nicks. That's the kind you want. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best knife made. Uh, yeah. I do everything with this knife. Mm -hmm. I cook, I clean, I eat. Mm -hmm. Why did you buy it? Because it's famous all over the world and very good quality. It has a reputation yeah. mm -hmm. uh, in the United States. I come from Santa Monica. Uh -huh. And when my husband goes out to buy a knife for the children or for himself, it's always a Swiss Army knife. That is right. <laughs> well, I bought this because of its, uh, it has these nice features that I can travel with it, and it's very handy to have. Yeah, exactly. Because it's uh, compact and have everything mm -hmm. which a man need in his journey. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a bottle opener and everything. Mm -hmm. And besides, I think it's nice to take one back because mm -hmm. it's, it's a bit of Switzerland with you forever, mm -hmm. right? I think so, uh -huh. and, and uh, we, you know, we see it all over, cuckoo clocks and knives. Uh -huh. Then you think of Switzerland. So we already bought a cuckoo clock, so now we'll buy a knife. <laughs> oh, fun! Victor Knox, keeping abreast of technology, moving with the times, conquering new peaks. I was on board the space shuttle Atlantis, and my job was to open the hatch that was going to let us from the shuttle into the Russian space station. And I had to undo a bunch of small bolts, cut some lines, remove a camera, do a bunch of finicky stuff. And the only tools that they'd provided were three small wrenches. The Russians had provided three small wrenches. So I was using those wrenches, and I managed to get some of the bolts undone, but it wasn't enough to do everything I needed to. So I was about to turn around and float all the way back into the mid-deck of the shuttle, and grab our big tool kit and bring some stuff over. And I thought, I'll use this. And so I brought out my Swiss Army knife, and I basically broke into the Russian space station using a Swiss Army knife. <laughs> 